weeping and worrying a mighty weapon in the hand of Satan to jeopardize God's children. You have been all alone seated here since you came back from the city yesterday. What's the problem, Priscilla? Why are you crying? Why? I would have assumed a man broke up with you. But to my best knowledge, you're not engaged. What's the problem? Talk to me. Kilo Shelley. You do. My cry is also cold. Ah! He has failed me again. You are my sin words. The God I know never fails. I thought they said it is something called grace. Yes. I thought they said the grace of God brings salvation. Yes, and that's the same grace that has saved you. I thought the Bible says he's able to keep me from falling. Yes, he is able. I thought you said that it is possible to live in holiness all the days of my life. Yes, it is possible. But wait, where are all these questions coming from? From a heart of a frustrated Christian, I have tried to serve God, but I can't. The way of righteousness attracts me so much. But it seems I am not the right candidate to walk therein. I am a mess already. There is no hope for this thing called Christianity. I give up. Ah. No. You can't give up on God. The Holy Spirit is there to help you. You've got to give him a chance. I have heard that before. And it has made no difference. But wait. What happened exactly? Okay, let me call you back. This is bag owner. What is even the worth of the bag? Why did you do that? My bag was for sure well enough for anyone passing to move freely. You kicked it and never felt sorry for your action. Is that no wickedness? Wickedness? Hey, see me see trouble. And this year, let me tell you, there is no new thing under the sun. When you are done, you will get out of the road with this your smelly, worthless bag. Wait, are you okay at all? Is that a question or an insult? And what if it's an insult? <laughs> ah! You did mad. Trust me. My yeah. God. I understand your challenge. But I may not be able to have the right word to tell you right now. But. I can introduce you to somebody. Perhaps he has something new to say to you. Thank you, Tolu. But there is no new thing over the song. Father, when righteous living seems impossible for your children, what's the way out? It's now become it becomes very difficult to counsel Christians that are rising and falling these days. Dear Lord, what's the solution? Hey, 
penny for your thoughts. Oh, Fabro. I'm okay. You're lost in thoughts. Care to share? I'll be 30 years by next month. Yet God is saying, wait. Then? Wait. I can't. Not any longer. For how long do I have to wait? Look at you. Look at you, Peter. The wedding ceremony is just in three months after your upcoming POP. Which is good. For you. But for me. It is well. Hey, bro. I have a challenge too. <laughs> Spiritual, physical, marital, emotional, financial. Which one? Stop kidding, I beg. It's a spiritual one anyway. For a while now, I've been trying to stay longer in the place of prayer. But I cannot. I've tried walking around, standing, and even shouting while praying. They never helped. What do you think I should do? Well, if that is the problem, then I have an idea. Me, I don't talk out. Say anybody will talk to me, I don't go talk for this area. But the person will feel it because I'm going get this area. Uh -uh, I'm going to get her. Hey! Hell to the mountain. Mama, everybody. Come for the Negroes. What's up now? What's in day? Oh my boy, the heat. Why something happened? Siraju, what's all this you're doing? I've told you countless times to get busy with your life. An idle hand is a devil's company. When you're idle, you easily become an inventor of evil things. Oh my, they try. Oh my, they try. Not be saying me, I know one better life too. But he has more. I swear, I did try. Your try is not enough. Until people see that you are very successful. Meanwhile, have you considered my last discussion with you? Um, never sure for me. I, I'm not convinced yet. Suraj, you consider it now. Tomorrow may be too late. Yes, now. Nah. Even for me to get waiting, I go chop like this. Tomorrow go day very very late. More make I go find waiting I go chop. Today, I must carry the poorest kind of encounter that told heaven I must reach there today. Today, Hey, Sister Tolu. Good morning. Good morning, Bro John. This is Priscilla. Priscilla meets Bro John. Yes, I can recognize her. You know, she's a regular attendant of the CDS. You no, know, she's not like some core members in our nations today who don't attend their community development service. You're welcome, my sister. Thank you, sir. Um, 
Priscilla has something to share with you, sir. I would like to finish up what I was doing while you both uh, have your discussion. Um, Priscilla, please make sure you check up on me when you're done. <coughs> you know I'm off the phone. All right. Are you tired? What do you mean, sir? My sister, you are carrying a load that is far bigger than your capacity. But you have dropped them and turned your back away from the journey onto glory. Why? Did God tell you about me? You have just described my spiritual state. Brother John, I have given up on God already. It's like this Christianity of the thing is, is not for me. Did you just say Christianity? <laughs> what you need is not Christianity. What you need is godliness. Oh, how great is the mystery of godliness. Godliness, Christianity and godliness, are they not the same thing? No. Christianity and godliness are not the same. Christianity is a religious practice. Godliness is a life. Christianity is a form. Godliness is a reality. Not all Christians are godly, but all godly people are Christians. <laughs> Man's idea of heaven is Christianity, but God's prerequisite for heavenly citizenship is godliness. That means I have been involved with mere practices all this while. Yes, you have been giving yourself to responsibilities and activities. You thought they would work, but they never worked. You've tried several times to stand your ground to stand for righteousness, but you kept falling despite the fact that you are born again. <sighs> what then do I need to do as a Christian who is born again to overcome sin and serve God effectively? <laughs> to be born again is not enough. And that is why you need the truth to progress spiritually. You see, the Bible says, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. John chapter 8 verse 32. The truth you know sets free. The truth you don't know keeps you in bondage. Sister Priscilla, I will introduce you to what I call the mystery and ministry of rest. Mystery and ministry of rest? All our lives since we were born, there is a natural war we've been engaging against the flesh and its works. Just like Apostle Paul, that which we hate, we do. And the good which we want to do, we do not. But it is no more we who does that, but sin that dwells in us. And that is why God offered us rest. Jesus said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and now we give you rest. But I thought he was referring to the sinners in that verse. Well, <laughs> There was no specific audience. The call was unto all that labor and are heavy laden. Now, there are five dimensions of God's rest. And uh, as for you, my sister, the dimensions of God's rest you need now is grace. My sister, there is rest in His grace. Grace? Grace saved me. I know about grace. I have learned so much about grace. But have you found rest in it? When you claim to surrender a thing and still withhold it, have you then surrendered it? Many believers are laboring today with mere responsibilities just to please God. But they always find frustration. Why? Because no man can please God on his own. The Bible tells us that without faith, it is impossible to please God. Then you want to ask, faith in what? Faith in His grace. Faith in His grace? Yes. By grace are we saved through faith. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. Wow. And that's not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. Verse 9 says, Not of works, lest any man should boast. You see, God has given us rest through His grace so that we will no more labor to please Him, but simply believe in His ability to make us do His will. God is not a man. You see, Philippians chapter 2 verse 13 shows us better. It reveals our powerlessness and inability to do God's will on our own. It says, 
It is Him, God, who worketh in you both to will and to do of His good pleasure. It means even our willingness to walk with God and to do His good pleasure as these workings. So then it is clear that we can do nothing of our own. I perceive freedom in my spirit. This is great deliverance for me. So all I have to do is to believe in the ability of God and His workings through me. Oh, this is grace. Yes, it is by grace alone. That is why Brother Paul told us that the grace of God that brings salvation also teaches us to deny ungodliness, to deny worldly loss, and then live soberly, righteously, ungodly in this present world. Now I am free. I am no longer a slave to sin. I am saved by grace. And I will continue to live by it. Thank you, Jesus. Brother John, I appreciate this. Wow. Glory to Jesus. Uh, now say this after me. It is God who will get in me what to will and to do of his good pleasure. Say it. It is God who worketh in me what to will and to do his good pleasure. seem clear and free for you to cross but it is not your time yet that was peter's time and he has crossed it's so glaring if i cross over now no vehicle can eat me look that is what you see but if you cross now when it's not your time the storm at the other side will sweep you away while you are still here waiting gather more strength that is the problem I have no strength anymore. I have been standing here for a very long time. The people that have met me here have crossed over. Maybe you will cross over soon. Who knows? <laughs> you see, if you depend on your strength, it will fail you. By the harm of flesh, no man shall prevail. There is a dimension of God's rest called strength. Don't struggle anymore. For you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. All things, including waiting. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for using Brother John to speak to me. I will wait, but not by my ability to wait, but by your strength. Hey, bro. So I was smiling. What's up? Thank God for me, my brother. I just had the revelation and I am free. It must be a very powerful revelation. Yes. And how about your prayer life? Mm. It's nothing better yet. How about what I suggested? <laughs>
Seriously? You have ten other ideas that could help? Yes. I think you speak with the brother John. I trust God to speak to you through him. Okay then. Boss, I wish you pass. Thank you so much. Thank God. But you don't have to steal before you hit. It is better to ask from those who have than to steal. I'm very sorry. I beg, no vex. I hunger concern. It is well. Sir, why did you do that? That boy is a shadow of himself. Not a dime from my pocket would enter into his hand. Then, where is the place of love? <laughs> you see, there are some people you cannot win by ordinary words, but by love. Sir, I've tried to show love to him and many others like him by preaching to him, but he wouldn't listen. People don't care what you know, but you know you care. Love is a preacher by default. How then can we love effectively? Good question. Another dimension of God's rest is love. There is rest in His love. You see, the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 5, verse 5, that the love of God is shared abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. Let me guess. It means the Holy Spirit is the one that makes love available and abundant in our hearts. Very correct. It then implies that you cannot love by your power but by the Spirit of God. So, find rest in His love. Give me love for the sinners, love for my boy, love for my boy, love for my boy. Give me love for the sinners, love for my boy, as you love and die for me. And die for me. Give me love for my brethren, love for my book, love for my book, love for my book. Give me love for my brethren, love for my book, as you love me and die for me. Today I have learned a new thing. What then are the other dimensions of the mystery of rest? Another dimension of God's rest is power. There is rest in His power. You see, no man can prevail in the place of prayer except he is quickened by the Spirit. Is it not enough that I pray in tongues to generate this power? Tongues are good when exercised with revelation. Now, this is the important thing. We need to find rest in the power of the Spirit when praying. The Bible says, we do not know what to pray for as we ought to, because that is our infirmity. But then the Spirit helps us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Hmm. Hmm. I should have known this long ago. But then, what is the place of discipline in prayer? Ah, <laughs> discipline? Discipline brings you to the prayer room. It is the Spirit that translates you to the throne room. Not by might, not by power, 
over my spirit, says the Lord. This is beyond me. Truly, it is not by might. You see, my brother, the Holy Spirit stands at the hand of yourself. Uh, what do you mean? What I'm trying to say is that when you have done all you can do to bring yourself to the prayer room, when you have disciplined yourself, you have tried, you've put up different measures to bring yourself to the prayer room, and you have started praying, then the Holy Spirit takes it up from there and translates you to the throne room. That is where you can now have a sweet hour of prayer. My mindset about prayer has just changed. I see myself pressing more in the place of prayer. Kai! Mm, we thank God. God will help you. God will help me. You see, the truth we know sets us free. The truth we don't know keeps us captive. Raju, how are you doing? I know they fine. I mean, I don't have for this life. I won't stop all those bad bad things so I did. But I know if you stop. I don't know. I know if you stop. I love you. Raju, I love you too. You? Love me? Yeah. Should I dream I did dream? Should my life never bad finish? Huh. Boss, thank you. Mama, thank you so much. If we love God, then we love you. It is because he first loved us, have you? And that is why I want to tell you that there is rest for you. I beg. Give me that rest. Not that rest I want. I've been waiting my game for this life if I die like this. The rest you need is in his blood. There is rest in his blood. See, Jesus Christ has made himself a sacrifice once and for all. Through his blood that was shed on the cross for our sins. His blood was shed to stop our struggles. Ah, Matulu don't tell me something like this before. What I need from you now? And will tell me how I will take find that rest waiting inside the blood of Jesus. I only wait till I give you that. All you have to do is to confess and forsake your sins. Now see after me. I have a confession. What confession? Ah, do you still have the phone? Ha, my bank was send and saw it to your home. See, boss. Now, let's go show where they go when they meet me. I won't go sell the phone, me. Ah, thank God. God is faithful. Can I pray with you now? Yes, yes. You can beat me and go scoff free. Never lie, lie. You cannot go. My sister, Jesus loves you. 